Hi, my name is Dr. Tarang Vora. I am a pediatric neurosurgeon at Apollo Hospital Jubilee Hills. Uh, today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic that is pediatric head injuries. Pediatric head injuries are the most common cause of disability and death in young children in India. So what is pediatric head injury? Basically head injury constitutes of any injury to the skin above the, that is the skull or the skull that is the bone below and the brain inside. They are also quoted as traumatic brain injuries by a lot of doctors. So what are the types of head injuries that a child can have? So there are four basic types of head injuries. One is concussion, second is contusion, third is skull fracture and fourth is intracranial bleed. So concussion basically means that after the child has fallen and had some injury to the head, even though there is no visible bleeding inside the brain, because of the shaking of the brain inside the skull, there is transient loss of consciousness in the child. Contusion means that when the child has undergone a CT scan, we are able to see a bleed, a small area of bleed inside the brain. A skull fracture is one in which the skull has opened up and has cracked and intracranial bleeds can be of varied types like subdural hematomas or extradural hematomas or intraparenchymal hematomas which basically tell us where the amount and where the severity of the bleeding is inside the brain. So what are the most common causes of head injury? So in pediatric population, the most common cause of head injury is fall from height. So if they are young children, either they will fall from bed uh, as an in infant or uh, they may fall from their parents' hands. Uh, as the population grows more and more older, the risk of getting sports related injuries becomes higher, especially in teenagers. So the four common causes of head injuries are fall from height, sports related injury, third is motor vehicle accidents and fourth is child abuse. So which children are at risk of head injury? So the two age groups which are most common in pediatric population for having head injuries, one is infants who have a very high risk of falling down because they don't have control over their body. They may actually fall from their parents' hands or may fall from the bed. And the second subgroup is the teenagers who due to their more outward going nature and will be spending more time outwards playing different kinds of sports, sports activities and then trying learning to drive, learning to cycle, all this can lead uh, to head injuries. So how do you diagnose head injury? Basically, it depends on the signs and symptoms that the child has. When a child has had any impact to the head, child may have five presenting signs. One is loss of consciousness, headache, vomiting, ENT bleed, basically bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the mouth, bleeding from the ear, a black eye or an episode of seizure. If your child after falling and has, has hit his head and has any of those above, then there is a high likelihood that child has had some kind of a severe head injury. So when you come to see a physician, this physician will ask you whether child has had any of the above, that is vomiting, uh, any bleeding from the ear, nose and mouth, any headache, any seizures, any loss of consciousness. Apart from this, if any of the above symptoms are present, then we may ask for a CT scan to find out if there is, has been a crack in the skull or there has been some intracranial bleed. So that is how we diagnose a child with head injury. So what uh, do you actually do if your child has just fallen down and hit his head and has a small bump over the head? What do you do? So the first thing is that you take your child, make him sit to one place, you take some ice and apply some ice on it. Okay, so the swelling will come down. You have to observe your child for the next 24 hours. Observation basically includes looking the child uh, is not developing any weakness on any side of the body, uh, looking whether for the child not to develop any vomiting, looking the, whether the child is having any headache or whether the child is having seizures over the next 24 hours. If none of them are present, then you can rest assured you may not actually consult a physician and the child will be fine over the next few days. But if your child has had an uh, impact on his head and has become unconscious after the injury and the amount of time he was unconscious ranges from around 10 seconds to 10 minutes, you must consult your doctor immediately. So what happens is that if the child has become unconscious, that the likelihood of child having a concussion or a contusion increases. If there is a concussion or a contusion, then the child may also develop seizure at some point. So you need to get evaluated by a pediatrician or a pediatric neurosurgeon to find out whether your child has any injury to the brain or not. If your child is unconscious or having a seizure after the head injury, what should you do? 
so what you would do is that if your child is unconscious after a head injury you have to keep the child where he is stabilize the child's neck don't move your child's spine around because he may also have a spine injury if he is having a seizure turn him to one side so that his oral secretions don't go into his lungs the seizure generally stops around on 5 minutes after the seizure has stopped if the child is still not conscious it's time to call for help and ask for an ambulance or somebody to take your child to the nearby hospital so how do we actually treat a pediatric head injury after the child is admitted to a hospital so basically if we do get a ct scan if your child is showing any of the signs and symptoms we generally admit the child for 24 hours for observation if it's a mild head injury if the injury is more severe and the child does remain unconscious we do a ct scan the ct scan will show us the severity of the injury most of the cases uh, we place in an intracranial pressure monitoring transducer to look for pressure in your child's head like we have blood pressure we have pressure inside the skull also so if there is bleeding or some damage to the brain the brain will become more and more swollen the more swollen it becomes more it become more the pressure inside your child's brain becomes and if the pressure is high then we can basically give the child treatment to reduce the pressure in the brain so that the child can recover from the injury so intracranial pressure monitoring is a very useful and adjunct device that is recently used for management of pediatric head injuries very rarely maybe around 2% of the children will end up having surgeries for management of pediatric head injuries so what are the possible complications of head injury complications basically include seizures development of weakness on one side of the body child may have some development delay if the child is very young apart from this if the skull is malaligned or fractured during the accident or during the head injury it may leave a permanent cosmetic deformity also so how can you prevent head injury in your child see it is very difficult to prevent things which are not under your control uh, but Uh, making an environment which is safe for your child to play in is very necessary so if your child is very young maybe an infant you ensure that your child your when you are you are carrying your child you are wearing good footwear you are not walking on slippery surfaces if your child is at home maybe to a toddler or a school going age ensure that the grills are made in your balcony so that the child may not fall down from the balcony child should not go unaccompanied to an area like terrace from where the child may fall down once the child becomes a teenager ensure that he wears a helmet whenever he is using doing cycling or if he is playing any kind of a sport activity uh, he needs to wear the appropriate gear to protect his head so this is all from pediatric head injury and uh, if you have any doubts or any concern please feel free to contact the specialist or a pediatric caregiver uh, for your child thank you